welcome back so in this video i will continue with our past year 2020 paper 2 of mathematics t now, question number four find the particular solution of a differential equation x cos cube uh, sorry x cos squared x dy dx minus y cos squared x equals to x squared which satisfied the condition where y equals to pi over 3 when x equals to pi over 4 so in our particular solution we must satisfy this condition that's the meaning of particular solution. If your particular solutions cannot be found from this point and this point, which means it is not the particular solution from your general solution. So for this time, for this kind of a solution, we need to use the integrating factor. Why I know we need to use the integrating factor? It is because and here we have term number one, term number two, term number three. And in this equation, I can barely see that there's a term of a dy dx here which is my q dy dx for example i replace this whole terms in in terms of q and plus and plus my p you can see y here you can see y here okay and this is actually pqr i let this thing be r so you can see this this pattern when this pattern occurs means that this is a linear solution this is a linear solution that's why we need to use the integrating factor to help us to solve so please remember this the this type of format to use the linear linear properties so we need to rearrange this whole things to obtain to obtain these terms to attain to attain in this format this is a format i wish to achieve please remember dy dx minus 1 over x y equals to x over cos squared x my i is actually my, my p is equals to negative 1 over x okay you can see that this is my integrating factor i'm going to handle with so i substitute i at here i will eventually obtain 1 over x and i multiply multiply both side both side of my equation left hand side and now my right hand side with 1 over x i will eventually ob obtain these terms again d dx y over x i will obtain these terms okay i will obtain these terms and i invert my d dx to hit to my right hand side invert your d dx means that you integrate the your right hand side i integrate my right hand side with 1 over x cos squared x dx so in these terms 1 over x cos squared dx i will actually i can obtain y over x equals to tangent x plus c equals to tangent x plus c and i substitute y equals to pi over 3 x equals to pi over 4 inside this particular solution to obtain my c why c here because c is actually represents unknown in my general solutions up to this point i already obtained my general solutions and i need to convert it into my particular solution hence i need to find out which constants will be added in the curve crossing this y equals to pi over 3 and x equals to pi over 4 so i need to substitute it inside Finally, I found out that when y equals to x tangent x plus 1 over 3 x, I will actually obtain, I will actually obtain a curve which passes through my particular point at here. So that's the meaning of particular solutions. About this point, how, how am I obtained to, how am I obtained the tangent x? You can actually refer, refer back to your textbook. It's a very, it's a simple integration. Then I will not explain in detail at this, at this point. 5a. Find the first four non-zero terms. Okay, in this term, we have found first four non-zero terms. It doesn't mean that I, I will up to x cubed because constant x1, x2, x cubed. It doesn't mean I will up to x cubed only because some of the terms may be equal to zero. For example, coefficient of the x square is equal to zero, which means I need to expand my Maclaurin series up to x power 5, x power 4. So we need to find the four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for 7x hence found the Maclaurin series up to the terms in x cubed for 7x sine x 7 power x 7 power x I think that usually my writing will cause people to misunderstanding so this is more clear la. 7 power x b estimate the approximate value of the integration of the integration 7x sine x dx correct to four significant figures correct to four significant figures this is actually 0 0.1 sorry sorry again for my handwriting this is 0 0.1 this is not 0 0.11 this is 0 0.1 okay correct the four significant figures so we would we would need to use a to find b why am i say so because 
Here is given us the hint. We can only do until the terms of x cubed, which means we have the uh, x power 0, x power 1, x power 2, x power 4. We have total four, four, 4 terms inside our Macaron series. And later, we will use these 4 terms to do our integrations. So this is our Maclaurin theorem. We need to find out the coefficient at here. This is our coefficient, coefficient, coefficient. We need to find out these four coefficients here. And another thing we need to bear in mind is, is differentiation of a 7 power x in terms of x is equals to 7 power x ln 7. We need to remember the derivative exponential rule. This rule is not so popular, it's not so frequently mentioned in our textbook because this rule we were very seldom to use. But if you cannot remember, if you cannot find out this rule, it means you are not eligible to answer this question. Because B is based on A, and A you cannot differentiate, you cannot obtain these terms if you cannot differentiate. So that is a very serious consequences. So make sure you know every properties in the differentiations, including this one. So Maclaurin series A, we split it into two. Why we need to split it into two is then later that we can multiply it back. Lah. This is the one term, this is the one terms. So we found out the Maclaurin series of a 7x, we differentiate and substitute x equals to 0. Inside our f, inside our fx, f prime x, f double prime x, f triple prime x. f prime means dy dx, f double prime means d2y dx squared, f triple y, f triple x means d3y dx cubed. So after we substitute, we will get these terms, this series, uh, I would I wouldn't do the I wouldn't do the differentiation in very specific manners because because these terms I I think that you actually can do the differentiations by yourself because why when I differentiate these terms I already got I already get, got this ln seven times with seven power x which means this one is actually a constant when I differentiate with a constant I will get when I differentiate with a constant in front of my functions I will get a constant multiply with these terms with another ln seven. So I will get the ln 7 power 2 and with 7x. And I differentiate it again, I will get ln 7 power 3 multiplied with 7x, which is this terms and this terms. Okay, which is this term and this term. And if I substitute x equals to 0 at here, when 7 power of 0, which will equal to 1, anything power with 0, I will get back 1. So this terms equals to 1, so I cross out here, cross out here. You wouldn't see 7x at here again. So here will be equals to ln 7, this one f, f0, sorry, this one, this one is f0, 1 is f0 because 7 power 0 equals to 1, f0, f prime, f prime 0, f double prime 0, f triple prime 0. So this is a series I obtain. And Maclaurin series of the sine x, I believe you guys are very familiar with this thing. Or this thing maybe even provided in your answer, in your questions sheet. So I multiply this series and this series by the simple expansion. Multiply first term with this thing, second term in this thing, and I will get this, this term, this Maclaurin series, up to x cubed only. So later we do the integration of this thing. We will integrate up to this x cubed terms only. After integration, so this is just a very simple integration. With the x power n, we integrate x power n. So this is the basic of the integration. Finally, substitute inside the substitute the limits inside, and we will got got our answer. This is zero point zero zero five zero four. This is not our actual answer. Why? Because we cut off the terms after x cubed. So these terms will never be the actual answer. The actual answer is actually zero point zero zero five six nine, but it's, it is already close. It's already close up to the close up to the. 3 decimal points, up to 3 decimal points. So this answer is actually acceptable. Question number 6. Sketch the graphs of y equals to ln x plus 1 and y equals to negative 2x minus 2 on the same coordinates axis. Hence, deduce the equation of ln x plus 1 plus 2x plus 2 equals to 0, which has only one real root. Use the newton Raphson's method with the initial value x0 equals to negative 0.1 to find the real root correct to 4 decimal point place. So we need to sketch this y equals to ln x plus 1 and y equals to negative 2x minus 2 on the same coordinate axis. Done. Done. So they, there is a intersection between, between here. Hence, deduce the equation of ln x plus 1 plus 2x plus 2. Since these two terms are equals to y, we arrange them together and then we move them 
we make the right hand side equals to zero. So this will be our new fx. If you know about Newton's, Newton Repson's method, you will know that this one terminal must left it to be zero and let it become the fx. So we will obtain these terms after we rearrange these two, these two terms at here. Which means when these two terms sum up, I get the zero. There is a real root at here. Where is the real root? It's actually at here. When there is an intersection between these two curves, these two graphs, it means that there is one real root. Why I know it is a real root? Because it in, is in the real axis. A real axis. I believe you guys have learned about imaginary axis and the real axis. Since this point is in x equals to the all real number possible, so this is a real root. The imaginary root or the root that doesn't exist in real plane, we won't discuss in, in at here. Use the Newton Repson's method with the initial value x not equals to negative 0.1 to find out the real root is correct to be the four decimal places. So now we know our real root is in between 0 up to negative 1. So that's the hint. We will use the initial value by using the Newton Repson's method. So in Newton Repson's method, we need to use we this is the Newton Repson's method. We need to use our fxn. So just now I already mentioned we need to let one side to be zero and let it to become our fx. And then we need to differentiate our fx here. We need to differentiate these terms. Become f prime x. So this is our f prime x. We get one over x plus one plus two. So this one is actually ln. Uh, this one is actually xn minus ln x plus 1 plus 2x plus 2 divided by 1 over x plus 1 plus 2. Okay, so you substitute this term, these two terms inside your formula here. Okay, you will get, you will get, this one is my future x, future x. This one is my present x. I will say present. Okay, uh, I think I better not write out because it, it will look very messy. Okay, so this is our future x, this is our present x. When I obtain my future x, it will become my next time of the present x. And finally, when I obtain my future x, my future x is actually not a very great difference between the last iteration. It's a sign that I need to stop my iterations because the question only needs me correct to four decimal places. So I will check at the number four decimal places if there is not if there is no very obvious changing of a number four decimal places, I can stop the iteration because six nine you see six nine is actually approximate to seven zero. When you put in when you round off when you round off one decimal places, these two terms are actually the same. So I can done with my iteration at x equals to negative zero five seven three seven. If you use computer to do the simulation, you can obtain the same answer. Not the same one because Newton Resonance is actually the approximate method. You can get the approximately same answer. Okay, so I will see you in our next video.